This video is brought to you by Ugreen. I've been meaning to do an iPad desk setup video for years, yet the limitations of the older iPad OS versions never gave it justice because who wants to have a giant mirrored iPad screen with black bars on the side? With iPad OS 16, we finally have proper external display support, and I was finally able to put together an iPad desk setup as an experiment and inspiration for future builds. Another reason I was delighted to create this setup was something called Setup Cockpit, but I'll get to that in a second. In the meantime, let's start with the desk itself. It is actually an IKEA setup that I featured last year in a budget setup video, but you know what? We've been using this setup ever since and both my colleague and I couldn't be happier. The Anfalar tabletop has withstood the test of time with honors and looks pristine despite its everyday use. I love the warm bamboo color and finish and the rounded corners. The white mid-back trestle is I believe discontinued at this point, but suppose you manage to get one. In that case, you'll appreciate the contrast with the tabletop, yet the perfect match with the world-famous Alex drawer. The trestle is ideal if you have a PC or to serve as a storage unit for a subwoofer like I've done in the past or any other storage need for that matter. Overall, the desk is very sturdy and there's no wobble or shake that could cause a disturbance. For less than $200, it is a combo that I can definitely recommend. This is where things get really interesting. On top of the tabletop, I have a desk shelf by a German company called Balolo. This is not just a desk shelf, but rather the HQ for almost all the desk accessories, including the floating iPad. The shelf is something Balolo calls cockpit setup. It serves multiple purposes besides just being a shelf or a monitor stand. The mounting grid underneath allows various Balolo accessories to attach at different locations elevating the desk setup to a god level status. I have a monitor sitting on top of the shelf at home, but for this desk setup I placed the monitor on an arm to leave the shelf as clean as possible. Every Balolo accessory is CNC machined and crafted to perfection by master carpenters using natural waxes and oils from real wood. You'll know when a product is high quality when you witness for example a numbered stainless steel plaque with a handwritten signature embedded underneath something that you don't even see most of the time. The shelf itself comes in two finishes. American Walnut, which I'll show you in a later video, and a lighter oak wood, which matches flawlessly with the IKEA tabletop. I've placed the iPad front and center on a Balolo phone stand, which fits the largest of iPads just fine. With this combo, I have a floating iPad setup at the ideal eye level, where I can occasionally use the Apple Pencil. The latest generation M1 12.9-inch iPad Pro is the iPad in question, which is now running iPad OS 16 beta. In terms of power and performance, the iPad can't even shed a drop of sweat when running extended on the 32-inch monitor. Still, since this is an unofficial public version, it shines with bugs and glitches galore. Nevertheless, the additional iPad settings for extending the display to the monitor, including the ability to position the location of the displays, is much appreciated and very exciting to see. Stage Manager is the MVP of this setup, but I'll spare you my thoughts about it at this point because it is too early to share what I really think about it. One note that I can spill right now is that I keep looking for the traffic light buttons on the top left of every window every time I sit to use the iPad. I guess old habits die hard. I power the tablet from the monitor and as you can see the entire setup requires almost no cables. Still, suppose you have a more complex layout, the Balolo cable organizers come in very handy when routing cables back and forth. The shelf tray, for example, can fit other nicks and knacks that normally live on the desk or accommodate the Balolo catch-all trays. By the way, if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe, because why not? The 32-inch 4K monitor I placed for this setup is my trusty old LG 32UL950-W, which I have a separate video on. That video is one of the most viewed videos on my channel, by the way. This monitor has been in use since 2020, and it still runs like a champ, providing excellent, bright and vibrant colors, including DCI-P3 and my favorite Thunderbolt connectivity, which makes it also the ideal hub for most setups. The monitor has built-in speakers which sound refreshingly honest out of most monitors I've tried 
recently. I love the all-around thin bezels and the fact that it is still available to purchase. In fact, while prepping for this video, I noticed that it is 19% off on Amazon, so be sure to check out the links in the description if you're looking for something like it. If you want to know more about it, I'll also put a link to my full review where I'd ask you to ignore my excess 25 pounds of weight. I've placed the monitor on an arm I recently purchased solely for an experiment. It is a popular product on Amazon, by the way, because it can be extended vertically to accommodate a dual full-size stacked monitor setup. As I've mentioned in my dual monitor guide video, which I'll link at the end of this one, I am a big fan of the vertical iPad stack setup, which is what we have right here. Everything is elevated, there's no monitor stands or legs to get in the way, and the iPad doesn't even touch the tabletop and stays at eye level, making the entire arrangement extremely ergonomic. Although the built-in monitor speakers sound decent, I've always wanted to create a dual HomePod mini setup. Thanks to the Balolo tripod stands, I finally found a reason to do so. These little metal and wood HomePod stands are the missing pieces for every HomePod user because they lift up the pods to provide an unrestricted sound experience and eliminate any vibrations on the desk thanks to the cork pads on the bottom. I am not even going to mention how cute they look when cradled in, no matter where you place them. These little HomePods sound too good for their size and are one of the few speakers out there that you can hardly hear break at max volume. Separation and spatial awareness are on another level too. Suppose I want to watch a trailer or space out a Pulse Max are just an arm away, sitting comfortably on the Balolo headphone stand, which again is mounted on the cockpit shelf. The AirPods Max are the best noise cancelling headphones and you know why? Because they have unmatched transparency mold. Also, Spatial audio? Mm. Regarding peripherals, I skipped the mouse this time and went for a trackpad setup instead. The reason? Gestures. Since I have the iPad sitting right in front of me and I also have an Apple Pencil at my disposal, the trackpad is the missing piece when it comes to an iPad setup. Two, three and four finger swipes are very handy when moving around iPad OS 16 and this, honestly, can be achieved at this level of smoothness with a mouse. The keyboard of choice is the Logitech MX Keys Mini in white, which I've talked about too much in recent videos. If you want to know more about it, you can check out my favorite iPad accessories video where I talk about quirky items like this weirdly translucent doohickey. <laughs> Both peripherals are sitting on the Enough mousepad, which full transparency is a product of my own. This truly black mousepad is made from 100% post-consumer polyester, making it environmentally friendly. Unlike wool felt mats, it is soft and gentle on the wrists. At 4 mils, it elevates the desk setup and stays firmly in place thanks to the anti-slip dots on the bottom. The 40 by 80 centimeter size is ideal for most standard desks because it is not too tall that you'd have to tuck it under your monitor stand or shelf. As you can see, it complements the Balolo shelf ideally. I'll put a link to it in the description below. No desk setup is complete without a decent multi-device charger. The white Ugreen 3-in-1 MagSafe wireless charging station combined with this tabletop and arrangement is a match made in heaven. This sleek charger can take care of all your Apple devices, your iPhone, Apple Watch and AirPods and can be used as a desk charger or nightstand regardless of your interior design. It provides MFI certified fast charging at 15 watts, 5 watts for the Apple Watch and additional 5 watts for the AirPods Cradle, totaling 25 watts of power. As with everything you green, you can be sure that your devices are protected from over voltage, over current and over temperature. The iPhone Puck provides great angle adjustments, ideal for both horizontal and vertical orientation, while the Apple Watch boasts both flat and elevated positions to accommodate any Apple Watch band or strap. Be sure to grab your Ugreen 3-in-1 MagSafe wireless charging station by clicking on the first link in the description below. So the chair, classic, Marcus from Ikea. <laughs> I don't know why this reminds me of the movie Taken, Marcus from Tropoia. Marcus from Tropoia. We're all from Tropoia. Anyway, the Marcus chair is my go-to chair here at the office as it is incredibly comfortable to sit on for hours. The soft padding on the seat is very forgiving even for the longest of video editing sessions and the ability to lock it to a certain leaning position is definitely something we all enjoy. If this chair had soft and adjustable armrests, it would have been the boss of all affordable chairs. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out my home studio setup here or my desk setup playlist in general since we have accumulated quite a few setups so far. Like and subscribe to the channel and maybe sign up for my bi-weekly newsletter where I share some behind the scenes moments from the kitchen. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E, over and out.